Alright guys, Epic Beer Dude here, back with another limited release. This is Black Xantis by Nectar Ales, an American Double Imperial Stout coming in at 11% ABV, 50 IBUs by Nectar Ales, which used to be uh, by Humboldt Brewing Company, and in 2005 they were acquired by Firestone Walker, um, which we all know and love for their barrel aging program. This particular beer was aged for six months in a combination of bourbon barrels, retired Firestone Union and wine barrels, um, and then infused with fair trade coffee from a local brewer. <clears throat> so the color, pitch black, um, can't see that through the light at all. Um, got a lot of alcohol legs on there, a little lacing clean to the glass, not too much, 11%. Um, you don't expect too much lacing, it's got a nice mochaccino kind of cinnamon topped head there, which is thicker on the sides than it is in the middle. Okay, let's have a go at that aroma. A lot of bready graham cracker, kind of chocolate malt balls are coming out, that really malty um, marzipan, sort of like a whopper um, kind of deal, a really kind of cream soda aroma there, really nice and like a creamy nose. All right. This is Black Xantis, 2011. Uh, cheers. Slick off the mouthfeel. Um, full body, really thick, a really sticky um, kind of mouthfeel. Really low carbonation, which is amazing because it really lets those flavors shine through. Really buttery um, at the beginning, like I would say chocolate chip pancakes. So you get kind of that chocolate infusion, but you get really that breadiness from like a buttermilk flapjack with cinnamon butter um, melting on top of it. Again, that buttery slick uh, deal comes through. Um, on the finish, you get slight roastiness, um, a lot of dark, dark, bitter chocolate, um, and then you know, it doesn't even clean up, it just lingers, which is amazing because you can just sit there and sip on it. Aftertaste is of chocolates, of roasty, uh, dark malts, um, a lot of toasted oat, like toasted oats in a frying pan, um, like a nutty kind of uh, flavor in there. Ugh. I'm going to be so bold to say that Black Xanthus is better than Parabola. None of you are going to agree with me, but here's why. It does not waver. Um, it does not hide the fact that it is a gigantic, huge beer, 11%, no doubt about it. Um, it's got the sticky, coating mouthfeel that you expect from Imperial Stout, where you can lay back after your sip and enjoy the nuances of the beer. It coats your mouth just enough so you don't have to rinse and repeat. Unlike the parabolas of the world, it has a drinkability factor that will allow you to casually drink it ugh, without having to worry about if the next sip is going to be too much. I'm going to say because of the drinkability factor, um, it scores just a half a point above it. Now, if you're looking for a more bourbon barrel forward beer, then of course Pratt is going to be it. Um, but this does just have a little bit of more like the subtleties of the flavor and the complexities really kind of bring a little bit more class to the uh, the overall style, which I enjoy because it's not something that you see a lot. So that's it, man. That's my two cents. If you can get your hands on Black Xanthus by Nectar Ales, American Double Imperial Stout, grab one. This is my only bottle. So if you guys want to trade me, I will trade you. Oh, and look, you don't have to get all bougie with your beer if you just want to pair it with some cheese and enjoy it a little more. Um, if all you've got is string cheese in the fridge, then damn it, get some string cheese, man. Enjoy it. It's good, man. You only live once, right?